Okay, so this is the clip motor we built in the summer school. Um, clip motor because of the paper clips, uh, which provide both a power, not a power source, but they provide um, the means of taking the power to a coil. Um, and they also provide pivot points. On the, of course, we straightened them out and then bent them around a bit more to get them into the right position. What is kind of important is the distance between the magnet and where eventually the coil will end up. So you might need to play around. Um, we've taken those out, we've put them onto the plus and the minus side of the battery and they're held in position just to a bit of um, vinyl tape or insulation tape just wrapped around there. Pull it tight and it makes a good connection. Um, we don't want the things obviously falling down. We also want to get power into our coil. The coil is made from 0.4 millimeter enameled wire um, in Ironwood Wire, I think because it doesn't, um, what do you call it, it uh, doesn't conduct electricity for itself or through the, the casing, um, which provides a electromagnetic force. We've wrapped that, takes some 40 centimetres, we've wrapped it around the battery 10 times um, to make our circle, and then we've just taken it out and wrapped it out there. Now you're trying to get that as balanced as possible. Mine is maybe not the best example. I'm sure you can do better. Okay, might just squeeze it back together um, like that. And on each end, we've used glass paper um, to scrape away or sand away um, the insulation, that enameled insulation, exposing the uh, the metal inside. Um, and on one side, then we've taken a black marker pen, permanent marker, and we've tried to coat one side. This is going to insulate it, apparently, um, which will stop the current going through important for rotation if not we'll just end up with an electromagnet which probably will not spin around okay so that's the coil I mean, if you look in any magnet um, you'll find coils obviously not as simple as this one but you'll find the same kind of wire and it's quite easy to find in lots of motors um, which in the summer school we opened a few motors up and took a look inside the hoover motor was probably the most exciting because it was big and noisy and then on to the battery We've taken a, um, a small magnet, this is a 15 centimetre by 8, uh, 15 centimetre, 15 millimetre by 8 millimetre circular magnet. And that, because of the metal casing on the battery, just plonks on top. Okay. So we put our coil into the holders provided by the paper clips. Like so. And already, as you put it in there, you can, you can feel it beginning to do something. There is a magnet. Oh, and it's away. There we are. How was that? Now it may not work so easily when you first put that coil in. And numerous times I've made this video, it hasn't worked quite as smoothly as that. Um, you may need to adjust where it goes, the position above the magnet. You might need to raise and lower the actual paper clips, depending on the size of your original paper clips. Um, the sample motor I built actually used bigger paper clips, um, which which when we came to make it in the class, we had smaller ones. So we had to adjust them. Um, and then also the position where this is above the magnet and the insulation, you might need to go back with the marker pen, re-insulate it, you might need to sand down again. It's not a pure science. So if it doesn't work the first time, try again. And also here, I've just bent up the end there. That's to stop the coil working its way out across and dropping through. And what's happening, of course, is from the battery, we've got the plus and minus. The current is circulating through the enameled wire. The enameled wire, as a coil, is making uh, a magnetic field from electromagnets. So that's how they work. Um, and then what's happening, because we've got the insulator, but we're like cutting off the power. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So it's magnetised, not magnetised, magnetised, magnet, not magnetised. And then with the fixed magnet, they're working, kind of push and pull, attraction and... and um, attraction and non-attraction. Is that the right word? Um, which is then making it go round and round. A normal magnet is a lot more powerful than this. This, I mean, we virtually have no torque at all, it couldn't drive anything. Um, 
but it does show that rotation is possible. And to think from the, the first time this was it Faraday or in that kind of time, they discovered that this kind of motor would work or they could get rotation electromagnetism it was possible to induce a magnetic field um but for what 50 40 years nobody knew what to do with it but where would it be today without electric magnets electric motors And I think that would just continue to spin until the battery ran out of power. But that might take several days. So, we're going to end the video there. Thank you for watching this far. And have fun creating your own clip magnet, uh, clip motor, please. Thank you.